Okay, so well, I drew three lines here, and then you have the axes. Line A, line B, and line C. Should at least the different color of my line. Um, so of the three lines, which line has the highest slope? A. What about the lowest slope? C. C. And B is somewhere right in the middle. So slope simply tells you how a line is sloping. Um, so the more vertical your line becomes, the greater the slope will be. The more horizontal a line becomes, the smaller the slope will get. And in a similar manner, One of the lines would have a positive slope. Which one? A. The line that would have a negative slope? B. B. So a decreasing line would have a negative slope. An increasing line would have a positive slope. And just by looking at the slope, one can determine if the line is increasing or decreasing. Um, we can compare that line to another line and say, okay, this one's got a lower slope compared to the other. So the slope gives us meaningful information about the line. And there is one other quantity that gives us information about the line. What is that other quantity? We've seen that already. It's got inter in it. Intercept. What intercept? Y intercept. Y intercept. So two things, the slope and Y intercept are good enough to define a line. That's it. That's all you need to define a line, the slope and Y intercept. So we saw how to find the Y intercept. Now we just have to find the slope, it's very easy to find the slope. So pick two points, I'll call this X1, X2, Y1, Y2. So the coordinate pair here would be X2 comma Y2. Over there, it is X1 comma Y1. Good, good things so far. Um, what is the length between X1 and X2? X2 minus X1. X2 minus X1. It's the length here is X2 minus X1. It has to be X2 minus X1 there also. Do you agree? And that is what you learned as run. I thought was that run. What is the distance between the two ones? Y2 minus Y1. If it is Y2 minus Y1 here, it has to be Y2 minus Y1 there. So that is what you learned as price. So the slope. It's rise of a run which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what do you need in order to find the slope? Based on what we did, we need two points. So if we want to find the slope of line, we need two points. 
it really doesn't matter as to which point you call as x1, y1, and which point you call as x2, y2, as long as the x and y are always together. Are we clear? Well, before we do, an example, or before you cancel, let's see if we can answer what it is. Um, how about number three? Can't hear you. Yeah. Zero. The slope of a horizontal line is zero because it's flat. It has no slope. So its value is zero. Seven through ten. You pick one. Eight. Easy. Okay. Go ahead, give it a try. What did we get? Thanks one. one. Good. Formula is the same. We just change the points. So y two minus y one to four minus zero divided by x2 minus x1, so minus 1 minus 3, so 4 over 4, which gives us 
negative one. Does that make sense? Supposed to stay there. Um, this is something you've got to know because we would use it later. So let's see if I can do this one. What can you say about the two lines? They are parallel to each other, kind of messed up over there. <coughs> um, but fix it. Better now. Um, two parallel lines. What can you say about the slope of those two lines? The same. They are the same. What else can you say about those two lines? Oh, no. huh? They're never going to cross. They're never going to cross. In other words, they will never intersect. Could they have the same y intercept? Probably, why no? Because if, if they have the same y intercept, it simply means it's the same line, right? Right, right? So So very, very important, um, later on when we find the equation of the line, we would want to know the equation of the line that is parallel to a given line or perpendicular to a given line. So useful information. Both A and B cross the lines that we have. Yes? Which one is perpendicular? Perpendicular. Which one crosses at right, right angles? A. A, because the angle here is 90, 90. So lines that intersect at 90 degree angles are said to be perpendicular. What can you say about the slope of two lines that are perpendicular to each other? They have what? Very good, Landry, but different help. It should be obvious right there from this picture. I agree, different slopes, but different help. Very good. So one is positive. <laughs> The other is negative. So their slopes will have or must have opposing sides. So otherwise it's not going to work. So positive, negative. <coughs> So 
the slope of one is the reciprocal of the other. So if one of them had a slope of three in magnitude, the other one would be one third. If you combine these two uh, properties together, if I say the slope of this line is three, what is the slope of the line A? Negative three? Close. One. Negative one over three. So you have to combine those two properties together. Opposing sides and one has to be the reciprocal of the other. So if this line has a slope of three, the line that is perpendicular to it would have a slope of negative one over three. And co-perpendicular lines have the same y-intercept. Yes. See the differences? So if we know one line, typically we can find the line that's parallel to it or perpendicular to it easily. But you do have to keep in mind two intersecting lines are not always perpendicular. They have to cross at a 90 degree angle. Does that make sense? Okay, um, I will start 3.3 .3 on if you have questions, talk to me. If not, I'll see you on Saturday.